Highland News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Tuesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. Breaking news out of North Korea, the country fires another ballistic missile out of Pyongyang. And according to South Korea's chief of staff, North Korea fired the missile in the eastern direction. The trajectory of the missile still not known yet. The last missile launched out of North Korea went over Hokkaido, Japan two months ago. And according to Hawaii Emergency Management, new attack warning siren tones are set to be tested monthly to alert residents of a nuclear missile attack. And starting this Friday morning at 11:45, you'll hear this sound throughout the state. It'll be the old siren for 50 seconds, a 10 second pause, and then the new tone for 50 seconds. Testing takes place the first of every month. The first one still confirmed for this Friday, despite this morning's launch out of North Korea. An update on a search and rescue mission at Moanalua Ridge Trail. Two hikers are now safe thanks to the Honolulu Fire Department. Air One successfully extracted the two hikers about an hour ago. Crews got a distress call around 2 in the morning asking for a helicopter. No injuries have been reported. Meanwhile, Hawaii County Fire Department crews are still searching for a former U.S. diplomat swept above Rainbow Falls in the Wailuku River. We just found out from our sister station in San Diego, 61-year-old George Novinger of Spring County, California. Spring Valley, California is a retired diplomat for the U.S. State Department's Foreign Service specializing in East Asian affairs. His wife Gladys was found. She later died died in the hospital. The search for Novinger was suspended yesterday because of dangerous weather. And as always, don't forget to tune into Island News tonight at 5, 6 and 10 for the very latest.